Hi, welcome to this week in finance and market. In this video, we will uh, talk about the important news items from the world of finance and markets in the last uh, one week. So the first one, uh, news item is about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's uh, price is now all time high, touching 20,000 US dollar. Um, so as you can see, even a couple of months back, uh, in August and September, it was uh, around, you know, 11 to 12,000. Uh, now it has increased by 80% in the last two to one half month. Uh, so that's uh, a big news because people had written off uh, Bitcoin. The prices had gone down quite substantially in the last two years, but in only in the last two and two and a half months, we see a surge in the in the price uh, for Bitcoin, and it is touching 20,000 uh, at the moment. The next uh, important news item is uh, Elon Musk becoming the second richest person in the world. Uh, he has now overtaken Bill Gates. Bill Gates was uh, for quite some time the second richest uh, person after Jeff Bezos, but now Elon Musk has uh, surpassed his uh, net worth. He is now second. The first position is still uh, with uh, Jeff Bezos. Uh, if you see this chart, even a couple of months back, Elon Musk wasn't in the top 10. You know, this chart is from just a couple of months back, I think from August, when Elon Musk wasn't even uh, in the top 10 uh, of the list. Uh, but because of the sales, uh, in the price of the Tesla stock, his net worth has increased manifold. Um, it has, in fact, tripled in the last uh, few months. And now he is the second richest after Jeff Bezos. Uh, if you see, actually, most of the, the top guys uh, are from the tech, and as expected, because tech stocks are doing really well in the recent times, uh, especially after the pandemic. Okay, the next news again is the related to Tesla and Elon Musk uh, is that there's a huge rise in the stock price for Tesla. Uh, well, Tesla has been doing very well since the beginning of the year, and especially after the pandemic started uh, in March, stock price uh, continue to increase. Uh, but in the last few months, in the last uh, you know uh, two months, uh, the rate at which it is increasing is is very substantial. It has increased up to 600 as we speak uh, uh, until um, yeah uh, December. So it's it's is very close to 600 uh, US dollar, which has increased from 450 US dollar just a month back. So that's the you know the level of increase, which is you know in excess of like forty percent increase in just about a month time. That's uh, insane. Sorry, not forty percent. Um, yeah, about thirty percent. All right. The next one is Palantir. You probably haven't heard about this company. It's not that big company. Uh, it's a data analytics company that provides uh, business intelligence and data analytics, data related uh, software and services to governments and big organizations, but mostly to governments for military as well as for security related, uh, you know, data stories and, and doing analytics there. It was started by Peter Thrill, the founder of uh, PayPal and a famous investor. Uh, it was started, I think, uh, all, 15, 17 years back, uh, but only last year it went public. And uh, its stock price was pretty stable for the first one year, but from November, it is surging quite rapidly. Uh, it has, the stock price has increased way above 100% in the last, uh, yeah, one and a half month, right? So there's a huge increase in the stock price for this particular uh, stock. Um, well, uh, yesterday I heard that uh, some of the investment banks are now saying that uh, Palantir is uh, overpriced. Uh, it's overvalued. It is, stocks should not be trading at uh, 27. 
So there is a slight decrease again, as you see in the last three, four days, there is, uh, there is a decrease, decreasing trend. Not sure if that's short term or whether it's going to continue, but uh, will there be a correction? Not, not sure yet, but, but that's what we see in the graph here. Um, then some news from the macroeconomy. Uh, Australia uh, has now emerged from the recession after a negative growth for two quarters. Uh, in the recent quarter, it has uh, shown uh, somewhat better results, a lot better result, 3% uh, growth. And uh, this is good news because not many countries in the world uh, are growing at, at, at positive rate. In fact, almost all major economies in the world um, have shown um, a negative growth rate in the last few quarters. Uh, and it's good news that Australia has now come, uh, you know, has emerged from the recession and has uh, grown positively grown uh, at a rate, which is uh, quite encouraging for other countries. Uh, the next news is about US weekly job loss claims. It has fallen, uh, which is a good thing because uh, when people don't want to collect uh, the jobless claims, it means that there are more jobs now. The number of jobs now available compared to a few months back is now much, uh, much better. And that's the reason why you see many people have gone back to work and, uh, and the, therefore the weekly jobless, uh, jobless claims have fallen. But it's not clear whether actually the number of jobs um, have increased or is there some other reason. Uh, well, but the initial indications uh, are quite, quite increasing. Uh, it, it seems that the number of jobs um, are increasing slowly in the US in the last few weeks. And it, it, only time will tell will, will this continue or, or not. So this is again a good news, another good news uh, in the world of macroeconomy. The last important news, uh, which is uh, the stock price for bio, bio and tech, the company which claims that, uh, you know, its vaccine is effective to uh, to fight coronavirus uh, and it is accurate up to 94%. So this is a company that was founded by two immigrants from Turkey and the company went uh, public, uh, I think a year or a couple of years back. Um, and it is doing wonderfully well now because of the approval of, of the vaccine in the UK and few other countries for use uh, stock price is now doing really, really well. And its founder is now a billionaire. Uh, it, it was the news today in Bloomberg that he's one of the few new billionaires uh, included in the top 500 uh, list of billionaires today. So this is again a good news for people that at least this uh, uh, vaccine is effective against uh, coronavirus and governments are now approving uh, its use. But uh, it's, it's a very good news for the founder because the net worth of uh, the founders have gone, uh, gone up quite drastically and the stock is doing quite well. Thank you.